All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. My name is Hi Ruler, and today's video is covering one of the tweets or some of the tweets from friend of the channel, Miller Ross, regarding Marvel Rivals. Now, if you guys have missed it, Marvel Rivals will be a part of the Gamescom announcement, lineup, kind of opening presentation, whatever you guys like to call it. Marvel Rivals will have a presence there as well as at Gamescom, as well as some other things that are happening around the internet. And there is quite a bit to talk about and there's quite a lot going on. So without further ado, let's break down his first tweet. Miller goes on to tweet, Marvel Rivals will be playable on the show floor from the 21st to the 25th. There will be a private playtest running in tandem during the same five-day period for program creators as well as specially invited non-program creators, media figures, and potentially outsourced professional QA teams. I believe the embargo will prohibit streaming. Now, he has go on to say that streaming will actually be allowed for this playtest, so there will be quite a few streamers who will be streaming Marvel Rivals from the 21st to the 25th. And that footage can be recorded and you can expect some new videos during or shortly after this period, as well as another round of big name media previews and impression pieces. So let's just kind of talk about this one because this is the big one here. Marvel Rivals has had two very successful beta periods. They did their alpha period, which I think most people would potentially call that a beta. And then they're just recently closed close beta now both of these had restricted access and in terms of the last one there was a very controversial twitch drop system that was in place now with all of that being said it was still a very successful period lots of people played the game and lots of people had fun now is it totally out of the realm of possibility for them to then scale down their next test and just make it a very small group no not at all this stuff happens right if you're working with some program creators and of course you know journalists and media figures to kind of get their impressions of course you can run small tests at that point just to get them in and try out new things it totally is a thing that happens before game launches what really can be kind of weird is now that you've done these two very successful beta periods, you're then making this a very public affair by allowing them to stream it. Now, I know for the creators, this is to their benefit, of course, you know, as being a part of one of their programs, you are kind of enabled special permissions and special benefits in order to kind of be a part of that, right? There is a trade-off there. Now... It does feel weird because, of course, if you were a part of the last beta period or were anywhere near any of the streams for the last beta period, one of the big questions was keys, 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 right? Twitch drops, 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 drops. And I know from some of my creator friends that can be very exhausting to deal with, right? Because not a lot of the time, you know, did you have breaks in your chat between that because people just want the drops. So it is a trade-off because it does get you views, but those views come at a cost. And some of that can be, you know, your chat, the way your chat interacts during that period. So there is a trade-off there. Now for the general public, this is going to suck because it does feel like it's just wall garden after wall garden after wall garden. And now this is an extreme wall gardening right now. It does feel like the game is so close and you can touch it, but it's just so far away, especially with this weird testing period that they're going to be, you know, kind of publicizing at this point. It does feel like at some point, NetEase does do some things that are kind of different and kind of out there from kind of what we expect and kind of what the norm is. Whether that's good, whether that's bad, I'll leave it up for you specifically, but this does feel weird, and I think most people would agree that this whole thing is kind of weird. I've seen a couple of creators talk about how they feel queue times might not be the greatest, and that's one of the things, too, is that depending on how many people they invite, where they invite them from, you know, is this going to be a test that's only going to run during certain hours? Because of that, queue times may actually not be the greatest, which means that their whole experience may be impacted by this as well. So remains to be seen how this goes, but it definitely is a weird idea. And it's just one of those things that NetEase does. So with that being said, let's get on to the next bit of the tweet here. Miller then goes on to say that this build will feature at least two new characters that are set to be revealed in the opening night live trailer. If you're expecting Sword and Shield, you're half right. Now, to get to the Shield part of this, because I'm going to be honest with you guys, I haven't kept up enough about the Sword, but if you've missed it, there have been leaks about Captain America. Now, these leaks have shown kind of what he looks like, the Shield, some attacks, 
So Captain America would be one of the next few characters coming to the game. Now, that is going to be pretty exciting to me for anyone who's familiar with my channel. Captain America would be enough to bring me back to the game to play and to potentially sink a lot of time into it. So very excited to see Captain America in the fold here. And hopefully his abilities are kind of really cool. And hopefully the skins are quite nice too. And then Miller goes on to say, I'm unsure if the trailer will feature more character reveals, but I believe these are the only two new characters that will be playable this week during the private play test. I've got nothing concrete on maps, but the image Jeff Keighley shared, which is shown to you guys, prominently features the intergalactic empire of wakanda and i did spot major progress on that from poking around in the cbt builds so i'm fairly confident that this will be revealed as well if not playable and i'm actually thinking a hydra erebus base map could also be imminent you'll know why when you find out which characters are coming Today's reveal is being hyped up a lot internally. As a result, I can't imagine it's just a character slash map reveal. We've had those already, and this is supposed to be bigger. Could this mean not only open beta news, but full release day news? We'll have to wait and find out. There will also be an official live stream of some kind, presumably on the 21st, which I've heard may feature some program creators. So part of the details of Marvel Rivals live stream will be that they're going to be doing a Gamescom live stream on Twitch at 5 p.m. Eastern time today. Now, this will feature jaw-dropping CG reveals, brand new heroes gameplay, and so much more. Then after, they're going to be moving to their Discord for a Q&A live stream with their lead champion designer. Now, that is quite a bit of information to take in. There is a lot happening with Marvel Rivals. To me, it does seem like it'd make a lot of sense to not just you know, give creators and media personalities this kind of access to a test, but to also kind of tie it over the general public with an open beta, you know, kind of release. To me, that makes a lot of sense because if you don't give the general public any sort of information here about when they're going to be able to play the game next and all they can see is this special group of people playing the game, they're going to be quite upset. So you do have to kind of give them something here and an open beta release date would probably be what I imagine would be the next step there. Regardless, it sounds like we have a lot of Marvel Rivals stuff coming out today, tomorrow, the next couple of days here. And honestly, as I said, if Captain America is part of the ball game here, I'm going to be quite excited. So regardless, guys, can't wait to see what's happening. Hopefully, there's a lot of information to chew on starting tonight at 5 p.m. And if you guys are interested in that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a nice little comment. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time here. As always, enjoy the rest of your daily night. Take care, take care of yourselves, and see you guys next time. Peace.